I'm not about to be paying no three hundred, four hundred dollars for no hair, girl. Especially when I got books, I got tuition. You know, I was paying rent. You know, I was like, I gotta find a way to make it work where I can still be a beauty, but on a budget. You feel me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about wig shopping one on one. And when I say wig shopping, I mean online wig shopping 101. If you're new in the game, if you're trying to get your first brand new wig, whether that's synthetic, human hair, human hair and synthetic blend, or even virgin hair, you know, because I know some girlies don't want to go through the whole synthetic and just want to hop into the virgin. Or, you know, if you've got to be a little more budget friendly, you want to hop and see what's going on in synthetic. I'm your girl when it comes to it. And also, my main thing is as long as it's affordable, that's what I'm looking at. What is some prices looking like? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm here for. But if you want to get into all of that and hear more about about how I go about personally buying my wigs and what I look for in my wigs, then keep watching. Starting with synthetic human hair wigs. So the main two stores that I go for both of those type of wigs would be shophairwigs.com as well as wigtypes.com. Those two sites are the main ones that I usually go to purchase synthetic hair, human hair, all of those type of blends. The best websites that I see the best deals for. So with shop hair wigs, they have a good bit of selection as well as wig types. I will say wig types does carry a lot more selection than shop hair wigs. I feel like um, shop hair wigs is a little more minimal than wig types is so i would recommend wig types if you want to get a plethora of different options but i usually focus on both of those two and bounce between bounce between both of those two also their shipping they have really good shipping prices so before covid came i believe that shop hair wigs is shipment shipping cost was only i believe about five to six dollars but because of covid you know that increased the shipping so now it's i believe 9 15. I believe wig types used to be maybe a couple dollars more but because of covid i believe now their prices have went down to about for you know economy shipping for about i believe 9.65 which is still pretty good compared to other sites that i've seen whose shipment is just astronomically high so it still is a benefit and it still is affordable so those two i would recommend economy shipping because I don't, you know, I don't mind winning and it's cheaper, so I'd rather pay the cheaper price. That's just me. I'm, my job, I'm only keeping from my pockets, not anybody else's. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so my fave top three brands for synthetic and human hair wigs would be definitely Outre. I'm an Outre girl, that's my number one fave. And then we also have Sensational. Sensational is pretty good, they give you versatility. The way that Outre and Sensational wigs are constructed are, you know, pretty good. They're um, durable as well. That's one thing I really like about um, Outre as well as Sensational. And Bobby Foss. Bobby Foss is really good for synthetics, but they're really known for more of their human hair um slash human hair synthetic blends like a lot of buzz about those wigs too so they're really popular for those but those are my fave top threes those are usually the brands i look for when i go and shop hair wigs or wig types those are main three i usually um that i go straight towards on their website but my main one is definitely outre i'm just an outre girl period love their synthetics love their durability i love how they're structured like i started wearing outre wigs back in like 2016 i believe and i still have those wigs to this day when it comes to wigs in general if i'm going for like a straighter or more curled wavy type of look i would prefer for the texture to be more coarse or yakky those type of textures because they really do last longer and they honestly make a difference in your wig when i first started out purchasing wigs especially synthetic wigs i made the mistake and bought a wig that had more of a silky texture and i ended up after wearing it after a while i started realizing that it tangles really fast you know and that's my biggest pet peeve is when they tangle I didn't necessarily escape it so because of that i had to pretty much learn and do my research and find wigs that have more of a yakky coarse texture so that i could really wear the wig and i have to worry about always constantly having to brush the hair out because that's what i came across when i got a silky wig so with that in mind, I just want to show you guys an example really fast. Y'all remember this wig that I wore in a couple of my videos from this past summer. So her name is Steezy. It's off a very silky, pretty vibe. And you see she has a lot of flow and bounce to her. But when you zoom in a little bit more, and I'm just going to bring her up a little bit. Very thick in the bottom, especially with her being a blonde wig. Especially if you're going for a light colored wig. It's very important that you get a thicker, coarser texture. And I wish y'all could feel more coarse. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely tell in here. It's way 
more coarse, you know? And with that coarseness, it helps allow for the hair to be more thick versus with the silky texture. Girls may want that silky long look, and it's nothing wrong with that. Just know if you're going with a silky texture, you know, keep the maintenance up on that wig because it is gonna be a lot more silky and a lot more fine, you know? Speaking of longevity, and I get a question about this a lot, I hear a lot of people ask your wigs lasting long, and my main thing is just switching. Like, as y'all see, if y'all follow me on social media, see, I always switch my hair up. And even on YouTube, you guys have seen on my channel, I don't keep the same hair every day or every time y'all see me. I get bored quick, you know, so I just love switching my hair up whenever I feel like it. But usually within a good month, I'll end up feeling that boredom and then switch again. And it's best to be that way because that'll keep your wigs lasting longer. And as you continue to purchase wigs and wear them, you'll start getting the rotation. Giving that wig a break as you're in your new wig and then as you continue purchasing wigs I usually try to buy two wigs every six months to a year just so that I can continue to you know give my wigs a break so if I ever want to wear them again I'll have them fresh storage bin that I keep my wigs in for now until I can you know get my wig room because that's what I really want and that's how I pretty much maintain my wig so if I want to wear you know the same my Stevie wig maybe a year from now I already know she's good to go and I can pop her on because I didn't wear her that long you know and that's how you basically take care of your wigs what i meant to mention about curly wigs now all my curly wigs i feel like for synthetic hair you're good to i'm go. not picky when it comes to curly wigs because with curly wigs especially when they're synthetic it's pretty easy to kind of disguise it with a curly wig it's because curled you can't really see much because see even like with it this has wig. a little bit of matting but it's not major to the point where i'm like oh my god it's really bad i need to take the wig off like it's pretty disguisable you know what i'm saying and if you see me looking this way i'm looking at it even with this wig it's got a little matting it's not a lot and that's perfectly fine because it's curly it's going to disguise show as much you know especially with this dark color you know you're good to go. If you do get lighter colored wigs that are curly, you know, they may show a little bit more. The matting and the tangling may show a little bit more, but at the end of the day, the curls are tight. They're close together. It's not gonna be curl pattern. Usually all curly synthetic wigs are good to go. You know, and if you wanna give it a little spruce up, what I do is I usually take my little spray bottle. I use this little bottle that tangles hair, but it's made for like this. It specializes for like curly wigs. You can also keep your, you know, curly wigs maintained as well. Virgin hair. So with virgin hair, there's mainly only two stores that I really purchase from. So the first one that I recommend is definitely PremiumLaceWigs.com. That's the main um, wig store I usually purchase from when it comes to virgin hair. They have great deals. Um, and I love that they give you a lot of selection on there as well. So you not only have, you know, lace wigs, you can also do bundle deals, front tools, um, colored wigs. They just give you so many options in abundance. So that's what I really love about that site. Have a clearance section, a sales section. Most of the um, sites that I go on have sales sections or clearance sections. But with premium lace wigs, they even have it for virgin hair, which is not really seen a lot with virgin hair companies. They even have a whole clearance section for you. So I thought that was pretty dope. I really love that you can also customize your wigs. So that's one option that I really do appreciate about premium lace wigs. You can also customize a wig to your certain liking. So usually if you go on their um, website and you see a wig that you're interested in, if you click on it, you'll see a selection at, under the wig, um, under the picture of the wig, where it'll actually, you know, your choice of like density, your choice of hair color, your choice of lace color. So you can even pick your own lace color as well. You can also pick the origin like the hair origin so it can either be 100% Brazilian, Peru, all of those options are to your disposal so it's ever however you see fit for you you know girl that's on a budget if you're a college student whatever the case may be i know when i was in college you know i was straight on that side like, no ma'am i'm not about to be paying them 300 400 for no hair girl especially when i got books i got tuition you know i was paying rent you know i was like i gotta find a way to make it work where i can still be a beauty but on a budget you feel me shipping it is a little pricey i'm not gonna flex it's about maybe i think when i checked recently it was like 25 dollars, which i believe was about the same amount i think that's always been about the amount for shipping um, before Corona so they've already been kind of pricey with their shipping but depending on the wig that you purchase from them with that shipping added to it even with the $25 shipping it's still the wig still checked out or the bundle deal whatever you decide to go with on their website still checked out to be 
way cheaper compared to other sites so it still was a deal regardless good promos and stuff like that so always keep your eye on the website because you never know they could possibly have a promo going on where you could probably get shipping cut and that's for any of the sites that i talk about in this video like make sure you're subscribing to those email lists as well because they usually give you you know some promos and discounts in those email lists or they'll let you know that hey we're doing you know flat rate shipping or things like that so that you can get even more money um off on your purchase yes sign up for the email list and they will definitely let you know what deals and promos are running so that's the main thing i would recommend so the second store that i usually purchase off is aliexpress now aliexpress is pretty known and pretty like popular for virgin hair dupes as well deals and they're known for their really good deals um only thing about aliexpress that i've learned because i just honestly got into purchasing from aliexpress maybe like a year and a half ago so i'm still kind of fresh into aliexpress but one thing i did realize when i was purchasing off of aliexpress mm -hmm. your research okay i cannot stress that enough because i didn't and i just thought oh you know i am pretty good or i know a, you know some basic knowledge about wigs so i should be okay by purchasing whatever no I pretty much had to, not a totally bad experience with my first purchase from Aliexpress, but it did come to the terms where I had to eventually return the wig. Your research on Aliexpress, make sure you are looking at reviews, make sure you are checking those reviews, make sure you were looking through, looking at YouTube reviews. It wasn't just that, I had to go through YouTube as well to find the reviews. One thing about Aliexpress, they have so many vendors on there and you have to really make sure not only you know, is the hair and the quality of the hair good? You also have to make sure that the company you're purchasing from is also great with customer service and things like that. If you don't do any of that research, you can get finessed. I don't want to say that the company I first purchased from finessed me, but low key in a sense they did because when I got the wig, they made it seem one way on their website, and then when it actually came to me, it it was nothing like it. It was very short. Oh no, ma'am this ain't what I paid for you feel me and then on top of that was way too big way too small for me and I already had a big hand you feel me my head is big as hell so for that wig not to even fit halfway on my head do you know how insecure I felt when I got that wig and put it on hmm. I can't get out no, that vendor they were very understanding to it, I, but I still had to go through a couple steps. Like I remember I had to like take pictures of the wig and show them like, no, it's not even coming to my head. I need a return. The hair was really pretty on the wig, but it just was not what I paid for. So thankfully they were able to work with me and they sent me my refund. I was able to return the wig and it was no problem after that. But I say that to say, do your research, making sure you're doing your homework period but if you are doing those things then you should be successful in that league where i ended up purchasing my wig from was called fab c official store and they were pretty good like the wig i got was pretty good the frontal was really nice on it the hair was really good i got a body wave texture and it was really pretty so it worked but out. i'm honestly open to any suggestions in the comment section if you are uh, AliExpress kind of sewer and you know the brands and you know the stores or the vendors that work best and sell the best quality virgin hair on that app because I really want to see the options that they do have and I don't want to be limited you know so if y'all know any good vendors on AliExpress please leave them down below in the comment section I would truly appreciate it because put your girl on you feel me like I need to know I'm trying to get put on too like if I'm putting y'all on y'all put me on like this, this is gonna be a mutual partnership or you know let's put each other on you know so that would be appreciated for me I would love to know where you guys purchase hair even if it's not AliExpress any other online stores period Put your girl one down below. I would appreciate it. I love hair. Put me on her. But I believe that's everything that I have for this video today. Yeah. Ideas and some tips and how to go about purchasing wigs online. I know we're all trying to get in this wig game because wigs is just popping right now. So. You know what I'm saying? Reach one, teach one. You feel me? And that was the end of this video. I hope I was able to help you guys on how to go about purchasing wigs. I hope I was of assistance and I can help guide you. Also link those websites down below just to make it easier for you guys to just hit the link and go straight to the website. So you don't have to, you know, do the whole typing for yourself. You know, I don't mind being a helper. You know, I don't mind putting y'all on. Give and receive and reciprocate. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to do. As I always say, stay chill. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Y'all know that. Truly appreciate it. And that also helps me out. As well as make sure you click that bell down below too. Because now you'll know when I post. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.